And you're sure he's here? For sure. And that makes even this moment cooler. In the original, it was cool that Cloud, like, you know, lets him go. But here it's even cooler because of their relationship now. Also, I'm going to need some materia. Dine's a pushover only if you don't use Barrett, or if you do use Barrett. If you don't use Barrett, people can definitely struggle on him. Casually. Not casually, he's a pushover because you can just throw a right arm at him. Yeah, if you don't have Barrett in your party at all and he's under leveled when you get to Dine. a bit of a struggle, especially with his random crits. The other thing that a lot of people die to with the original Dine is when he dies, he has a 50% chance of using a uh, cocktail. And every turn, once he's down to, I think, 50% HP, he has a chance to use Cocktail. So what can happen is he can use Cocktail, and then you launch an attack, and that attack kills him. And then he uses his, his final move Cocktail. You hit by two Cocktails at once, and sometimes that'll kill you. Looks like we're gonna have like a shootout. Like, I actually have to hide behind this stuff. Is this gonna be a mini game fight and not a real fight? Come to see. 
think of it. I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't Not like that, that. <laughs> <laughs> you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. So yeah, confirmed. It was him that was strapped up. That's why the guy didn't turn there him in for the money. Again, watch where you're oh, that's scary. So this song. Look at me when I'm talking. I should have put a sess on. I can't assess him. This battlefield is really smart. into the rescue again. minds Yeah. 
And even the double didn't do that much pressure. God, wait, you can actually perfect all. Marlene, I can't remember. That's different. Come on, you can do this. You can still save it. Is this a Dark Souls boss? Who is weak against fire? This is insane. Get it together. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay as I blast him. Holy. It's tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. It changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. Mommy 
his eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dad, we could go see Marlene right now. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Man, I tell you what, they really like dark-haired women in this game. Every woman is dark-haired, except Aerith. <laughs> I just laughed when, the, when Myrna looked like, practically like Tifa, but with a different haircut. Man. So like, this, this was the scene that I've been looking, this is the scene that I've been waiting for the entire game. Late in the late erasure. All right, true. Um, and Scarlet. Uh, this was the scene I was looking forward to the most out of the the whole game. Um, man. I don't even know where to begin. 
just the the thing that the thing that sticks out to me is um how I don't think this was the reason. Like I think he was gonna go crazy anyways, but like Barrett was dragging him out and then he pointed at Cloud and was like, Oh, you're in with Shinra. I don't think that was the reason they fought, but like that little detail was interesting. That was like an interesting idea to have him like see Cloud and then be like, wait a second. Um So I think legitimately every single part of that was better than the original. They absolutely nailed every part of that scene and made it so much better. The only thing I can point out is the fact that he didn't technically off himself, which I was wondering if they were going to do it because I was like, you know, it's 2024. Things are a bit different nowadays. Not sure if they're going to go that route. And then when I saw the Shinra soldiers appear, I was like, oh, that's how they're going to do it. Like, I, I instantly thought, like, I bet you they're going to do something with them instead of him jumping off the cliff. And sure enough, that's what they did. But they found a way to, like, kind of mix the two because he did kind of choose to keep shoot. Like, they made it very apparent that he could have stopped and ran. But the, there was that moment where he was like, he doubled down and he was like, no, I'm going to kill them all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there was an amount of understanding that that's what he was doing. So I think it was fine. I don't think you necessarily have to have him jump off a cliff. I think that's actually a really good way to do it. Uh, you know, do it in a way that I think everyone can be comfortable with. I, I think I think that was a really smart decision to do it. And I, like I said before, I figured going in, there's a good chance they're going to change that. And I was pretty OK with that. I completely understand why it's a different world. It's 2024. I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, that's not how it happened in the original. Like, it, <laughs> it's much more important that we make the game approachable by everyone. So, but I'm impressed that they found a way to make it work. They made they found a way to make the the feeling of the situation still work, but do it in a way that's that's more approachable. So I give them big credit for doing that. Honestly, I'm I'm very impressed that I, I would have never I don't think I would have ever guessed that that's what they would do and yeah yeah that that was really genius that was really smart um but yeah man i really think every moment every part of that scene was was amazing i love how crazy he was i was afraid like because it was that trailer where they showed a, a snippet of it and I don't remember which quote they used from Dine, but whatever he said, it wasn't very crazy. So I was worried that he wasn't really going to be crazy, you know? Um, in fact, he was even a bit more together here than he was in the original, because in the original... Well, not really. I think it was about the same. But we got more of the craziness here. We got even more of it here, so. Um, but he was, like, level-headed at some points. Like, he actually was able to explain himself. It's, he wasn't completely gone. Um, I think in the original, he was kind of completely gone. Um, but anyways, forget about dying. Oh, that's right. That That's true. That is true. That is a very good point. He says at the end... He says at the end, like... So, so in the original, the dialogue is instead of saying Marlene can't see me with my bloodstained hands, which he does say at one point, 
he also says, I'm going to have to kill Marlene so she can be with Elmira. So that was, that was taken out, which either is because he wasn't as crazy or because they felt like they didn't want to put that in. Either way, it makes sense to take that out. Um, but yeah, I would say that he was more off his rocker in the original. <laughs> um, but having said that, uh, having said that, he was still very crazy. He was still nutso. But forget about dying. Let's talk about freaking Barrett. Holy crap. What an incredible... I was like dumbfounded. I I knew what was going to happen and I was still dumbfounded at the part where Barrett took off his gun and was like go ahead then. And I'm I'm sitting here and I'm like, "Brother, this dude's insane." He <laughs> 2 seconds ago he was going to shoot you before any of this happened and you had to jump out of the way. Like I, 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 I genuinely thought he was good. And I know that Barrett doesn't die. And I was like, I think he's going to shoot him. Like, they had me. Big time. Like, I almost I almost thought for a second that he was going to, like, shoot. And then Cloud was going to jump in and block it. Or, like, there was going to be a bulletproof vest underneath. or Because I was like, brother, he's going to shoot you. Like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Oh, that was, like, such a crazy moment. Like, wow, that was nuts. That was actually nuts. And the way that they tied it back to what Barrett was saying before. Uh, yeah, a whisper comes in and rescues him again or something. Like, man. But the the way they tied it back to what Barrett was saying before, too, with him saying, like, it was, it was all my fault and... I thought the money was going to save us and stuff. Like, he, he still genuinely thinks he did the wrong thing. So him putting down his gun and being like, shoot me, is believable. Because Barrett does truly still think he made the wrong choice. Man. Unbelievable. I knew this scene was going to be good, man, but they really went above and beyond. They really went above and beyond with this one. And now you carry that weight. Crazy, man. <laughs> in all three parts, they find different ways to kill Barrett, and then he comes back. <laughs> he is the Kenny of the remake series. No, that, that yeah, truly, uh, that's this is the first scene. Well, I wouldn't say the first, but the, the biggest outlier scene for me where it feels like they truly just absolutely nailed it, just in every way. I'm so happy about this scene. And we're not even done yet. We still got to get the Barrett. We still got to see the aftermath. I was going to say we probably got to fight Shinra first. Uh, I need your. Sorry, I know you're. No, you're upset right now, Barrett. But I need your materia. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Just yoink that real quick. Give me your metal too. Appreciate you. this ice she got the ice cream i my i totally for a second i was like what is she holding <laughs> and then i saw it i was like wait it's kingdom hearts ice cream why does she have kingdom heart why does she have sea salt ice cream is this a kingdom hearts reference and then i remembered oh yeah she said earlier she wanted ice cream but i think it is still a kingdom hearts reference this is incredible <laughs> just yanking her chain <laughs> same that said 
Is it okay to let the director get involved? She did say like no this? vanilla. Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. God, that's that's so great for so many different reasons. <laughs> Is he okay? I wonder if this is the Palmer fight. Oh man, I was still like laughing about that other Oh, I have Aerith instead of Yuffie. Oh, I should have swapped. <laughs> he just fell over. song too oh my god that bass bum, bum. oh i mean tifa not so tifa has nothing but i still got Aerith, so we're still gaming time bomb scatter Hit by his own bomb. That's not good. <laughs> he did the dance. He did the dance. He did the thing. Oh my god, Aerith, are you alive? Oh my god. Yes, this is like the perfect goofiness during sadness Final Fantasy VII moment. They knew exactly what they were doing with this. They knew exactly what they were doing with this. Him, it would pressure, but it didn't seem like it. What's happening? He fell over again. <laughs> it's unblockable. You cannot block it. You must see it. It's an unblockable neener neener. Music just changed. Ow. It just grabbed Aerith. Dubstep? The answer is dubstep. You not. Actually, it's not even... I can't really hear it because of the explosions, but I don't think it's actually dubstep. No, it's not. 
Sounds more like glitch hop than anything. That does it. You've got this. I'll take over. Like his legs. Ow. The entire robot is doing it now. The entire robot is neener in us. How could you? Holy moly. Oh, come on. No, no, no. No, 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 absolutely not. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? I got played. Dude's a spit away from being staggered. Should have used a thingy up. It's on you. So it's my turn. Oh, thank like goodness they went immune just then. Should have done Ascension. Oh, I did do Ascension. Good. Palmer lives to fight another day. Gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now. Yes, sir. Innocent, and I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. <sighs> you will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> um, is this not a bit much, sir? The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. <laughs> you are always welcome, my friend. Goodbye, old buddy. 
Hold your chest. Leave this riffraff to me. Oh my god, Dio versus Rude. Time to get the blood pumping. <laughs> and Rude is winning. Yeah, Barrett, mini game time. Man, what did I say, man? What did I say? They were building up Cloud and Barrett's relationship with the scene beforehand. Boom! There's your climax. Freaking, I mean it, man. Wow! That coming out of Cloud's mouth? Yeah, dang, that was amazing. Holy moly. Actually incredible. Also, are we just gonna let Kate Sith in now? Like, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna have a moment? Are we gonna have a moment where we're like, what is this cat doing here? Because <laughs> he's just like with us now. Oh man, that scene was so good though. Holy cow. I'm ready to shoot some Shinra. As soon as I figure out how to shoot, square. Right when I got excited, the music got, like, sad. It's, like, exciting, but also sad. song. But not what I was expecting. It's incredible. Uh oh, do what now? Ooh. Ow. They dead. Moving on. Is so slow. It says I can adjust aiming speed, but oh, yes, yes, this. Give me this. Yes, please. Could have just said faster reticle instead of adjust, because that's what it really means. Faster. I saw it right away, but I was like, I don't know what that means, adjust. If it had said faster, I would have just turned it on right away. Health bar. 
Okay, I know Barrett wants to do this himself, but can Aerith not, like, throw some spells our way or something? They're all just sitting there watching this. I was not paying attention to which one was first. Okay. Huh. So we're not making this a reveal either. That's all to do it. If you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. Don't have too much fun. the status of the ancient we still have eyes on her is she looking for the promised land we don't believe so I see is she a higher priority than the materia hmm. not her so much as her birthright 
It's a dream of mine. To see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. President, you and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? A pig headed, pathetic, daddy hating child. And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm. Wow, now that's cool. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I do kind of agree with, well, I don't know if you're actually saying or not, but I do, I do feel like the whole thing with Glenn feels a bit Kingdom Heartsy, uh, like for better or for worse, like the way he appears and disappears and we don't know who he is and stuff like I feel like they're channeling a little bit of that for better or for worse. You can take it or leave it. But just to mention that, like, yeah, it is kind of Kingdom Heartsy. Uh, it is a bit Nomura. <laughs> uh, but regardless of that, I really like this mystery around Glenn because I've said it before. The great thing about the remake is that we can play Final Fantasy VII for the first time and not really know what's going to happen. And this is something where we could have played Final Fantasy VII a million times and we still don't know what's going on with this guy. So it's a cool little mystery for those of us that know the general mysteries of the game. So that's really cool. Um, kind of depends on where it goes, though. But we'll see where it goes. Um, how do you guys feel about... Uh, Reeve being spoiled. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Because how I feel right now is I don't see why it needed to be spoiled. And from my point of view, if it doesn't need to be spoiled, why spoil it? You know what I mean? Like, I think it's okay that they spoil it, but from my point of view, it's like, why not? So th there must be something later to where, like, there's a reason they spoil it now. Um, my only real question, though, is what's going to happen with the... Um, what's going to happen with the Keystone? Because the story in the original is that Reeve is actually, quote-unquote, evil... And steals the keystone, but then when he steals the keystone, he tells the party, I'm starting to understand your ways, and then later he fully commits, right? But it looks like he's already committed to our cause. He's already changing the posters. So is he not going to steal the keystone, or is he going to be forced to steal it, or is he going to... 
have second thoughts and steal it. Like it's 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 definitely going to play out differently in some way. Uh, because it seems like he's already for our cause, or at least somewhat for our cause. Um, whereas in the original, he was not until after. So interesting. Let's see where that goes. Um. Yeah, good point. To be fair, they kind of already showed him being somewhat for our cause in the first game, so they couldn't go back on that now. So that makes sense. But yeah, I do wonder what's going to happen with the Keystone now. Is he going to have second thoughts or like is something else going to happen with the Keystone? We're just going to completely forget that. Um, curious. I hope that something happens where he at least double crosses us because i think that's a cool moment i would hate to see that just totally gone and kate sith is just good from here on out um you know i i like that that clash between cloud barrett and kate sith where kate sith double crosses them but they have to keep him in the party because he has marlene and then Later, he sacrifices himself to prove himself to the party. Like, that was all, like, a really cool thing. And then also, Barrett doesn't ever really fully trust him, but the rest of the party does, and there's some cool, like, stuff with that. So I feel like him him double-crossing us is still an important thread that I would like to see them do. But it's going to have to be different, because, like you said, Reeve's already kind of been known to be on our side, and now he's definitely on our side, so... We'll see what happens. I think they can do it in a way that's still fine. I just, I would like to see him still double cross us. I think that's a cool plot thread that I would miss if it were gone. But see what happens.